Hello, it's me, Jackalopium. Welcome along. We're back playing some more Encased. This may be episode 32, although with the uh, kind of weird editing that's going on at the moment, uh, who knows? It could be any episode whatsoever. It could be 33, 31, anything really. <laughs> All right, so I'm... Th Done some stuff off camera. It's really just been exploring some of these uh, empty squares. There's been a couple of places like this. Yeah, it was nothing particularly interesting. I just uh, beat up a bunch of people. We're back over at Junk Town because, of course, this is the... Uh, emulator pro projects offices so let's go in and hand in our quests if we can because we have actually started the power supply so all we need to do is turn it on right <laughs> at least that's what i think is happening Russo is comparing the readings with the data in her notebook. Any news? We need to prepare this thing for the new trials as soon as possible. There you go. Tell her you solve the problem at Magellan. Yes, I see. Okay, that closes down those two quests. Awesome! Henrietta chews on the end of her pencil. I need to check everything a thousand times or so to ensure we don't fry your brains with the emulator. Although considering your unique abilities... I'm certain everything will be all right. She looks down at the teller glasses lying on the table. Ask for more specifics regarding the unique gestures abilities. The emulator platform, just as she did during your first conversation. Maelstrom's radiation didn't eradicate your mind. I suspect you're able to not only enter the space of the emulator, but also navigate. Sounds good. And even come into contact with the observed phenomena. And if so, who knows? Perhaps you can influence Maelstrom itself. Yeah, we can punch. We can punch the uh, <laughs> punch the whirlwind, punch the tornado. Russo blows you a mock kiss. Everything will be ready in a couple of days, so don't be late, baby. And seriously, thank you again. Awesome source. So, what does that? look like over here emulator project the emulator is assembled after a final test run new research can begin when the tests are finished you'll receive a message awesome uh okay so oh uh, yeah what about your story you return to the emulator and turn on the device's power right Uh, we could go and visit this graveyard in the meantime, I guess. I'm going to pin that one, uh, and then we'll do that one. All right, yeah. And uh, one other thing I did off camera was I upgraded Crump's Vajra weapon. I upgraded it twice, uh, and then I upgraded my own weapon once. So... Yeah, six, five, and five. So, yeah, a bit more kind of equitable damage, I guess. How much? Uh, oh, she needs to reload, actually. There you go. So, let's get back out of here again. I guess they're just going to let me know. When everything's ready. So yeah, I guess just do whatever until the tests are done. My dearly beloved people of the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where does this lead to? Did we ever find out? 
entry at this time. Oh, what a shame. Right, because that's Carmine Heights, right? Uh, so yeah, let's just map some of this stuff. And we'll head over to the graveyard. Hope it's not too radioactive. Uh, I think before we do that, though, I want to just check for how much how much anti-rad stuff have we got. I'm just going to take everything. We can just put it back in. Back in the tongue afterwards. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What were you saying about the circus? Hey, there's some peeps. I'm doing my best, almighty beast. Try to best your best. We're scared. Okay, there's a hierophant. <laughs> okay, so he's the Pope of. He's the Pope of the Radioactive Graveyard. As you approach, you see a few fops. Okay, that makes sense. Wearing dirty rags with something scribbled on them. One of the madmen is digging enthusiastically into a grave, while the others are just hanging around. Among the crowd, there is one that stands out. Yeah, he would stand out. Uh, emitting an air of pride and pompousness, his dirty face is decorated with some pseudo-Egyptian symbols. Seeing you, raises his hand. Stand still, mortal, he says. I perform on my guitar, I perform the duties of the high priest, and I perform the work of gods. And now the gods wish to know what the hell you are doing here. All right, I guess all we can do is demand them to stop digging. And why should we do that? Say that this place is cursed. Say that if they keep digging, there'll be no one left to seek the Pharaoh's treasure. In a calm, casual tone, tell them exactly what you're going to do to them. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. I wouldn't mind getting into a fight with them because it's all XP. And plus, this is a, a higher number, so... Guessing it's slightly more XP. There you go, dead silence. The high priest coughs awkwardly. Anubis has whispered in my ear, in my ear, he says, that the treasure here is cursed. We'll be going away from both the treasure and all kinds of mortals. He leaves in a quick pace, glancing back at you every now and then. All right. His retinue dash after him, dropping their shovels. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to end up digging this stuff up. There's the Pagliacci grave. Wasn't he the guy from that stupid Watchmen joke? The ancient evil of the Carpathian Mountains is buried here under no circumstances should this grave be exhumed. Uh, yeah, so let's exhume it straight away. What could possibly go wrong? $666, man. And a time bomb. Awesome. And a massive fight against, it looks like, five enemies. Okay, a bunch of skeletons. They don't look... Oh, yeah, wow. What the smeg is this? Um, we've descended into some kind of uh, Dungeons and Dragons type affair, by the look of it. Um, okay, so who's first? This guy. Or this guy. Weird. It looks like he won't take a single bit of damage. Okie dokie. Ok, 
Okay, here comes the bum rush. <laughs> he missed. Okay, so Yoko. Nothing seems to damage him either there with Yoko either. That's messed up, man. Who was it who... It was this guy. Shoot this guy. Ah, a reload. Oh, yeah, sure. There you go. That's the first one down. Uh, okay, and then Crump. We've got three more left, right? And it looks like Crump's the only one who can do damage on that guy. So, let's energize the Crump Meister. Whoa, that's a lot. Of, well, it seemed like a lot of numbers going past. Uh, Oh no. Okay, so Crump. <laughs> That's the next one down. I wouldn't mind trying to run up on the the big scary guy. So, there's my two shooties that are gonna take out the, the last couple of skeletons. Yeah, everyone's wailing on Yoko because she's down on the floor, unfortunately. Okay, she's got back up. Okay, so... Uh, and then Crump. Okay, so we've got four AP left. Uh, the target cannot occupy... Ooh, do we even care about that? Uh, let's uh, just hit him. Uh, and then with the last point, let's do a jab. Oh, what the fudge? Put him down in your face. Uh, and then... Oh. Yep, pain, pain, pain. More pain, not particularly painful. Okay, so Crump. Let's put down another Skellington. Okay, let's see if we can put down the last of these guys. Um, 
unfortunately not. That's a shame. Oh, nope. Puts him down there, you flaming go. So to heal up, where is, well first to heal, there it is. Heal Crump. Heal Yoko. A, ske a skeleton with a bunch of coffee. And they've all got magazines. All the skeletons have got magazines for some freaking weird reason. Okay, so a new relic. It's a jolly driller. Charisma plus two. Okay, weird. I don't really care about charisma. I mean, I guess if we need a boost. Okay, <laughs> we got another shovel, which is pretty handy. Okay, we are starting to take rads now. Okay, a new weapon. I have, I have actually got a slinger, so we can probably break that one down. Well, we need to break one of them down anyway. Wow, there is quite a few graves, man. Yeah, we are starting to take fatigue as well. And let's just, uh, dig up whatever we can. Ooh, nice space <laughs> plot armor coat. Very good, very good indeed. Gives us one extra AP, a plus one. Plus one starting AP and plus one AP. Awesome. Just gonna equip that real quick. I think you are supposed to. I mean, I don't know if we were supposed to have done that. Done this uh, <clears throat> this bit a lot earlier, maybe. Okay, she's already wearing one. No, G Romero's grave. I wonder what could possibly go wrong there what's in store if we uh, dig up G Romero's grave oh all right it's just uh it's just a big shotgun I felt certain it was gonna release a zombie See if he's got a dog tag. He does. There you go. 
It is getting very predictable. <clears throat> Although I say that after being, you know, not correct about the George Romero, I mean the G Romero grave, eh? <clears throat> okay, we are starting to take rads now, so we need to... Oh, God. Radiation sickness stage two. Okay. Okay. Harris Hampton. Ta Harris. Harris is Hampton. Okay. Bob the shrimp. Yeah, I mean, we have taken quite a lot of bad... Oh, we're in sickness stage three. Hmm... Yep, consume... Oh no, it's the Doomsday Whistle. I'm going to just drink four of these Rad Force. Uh, and then Crump. Should probably... Eat some Rad Force as well. There you go. Of course, this lady, because she's a robot, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't know if we can create some more rad force. Oops. So let's go and talk to this guy with his Hampton out. And there's a bunch of supply barrels, which I'll do off camera. But does this guy have anything? Whoa! I wonder if he's like, like a, a Fallout ghoul, I guess. The creature that greets you with a wave of the hand doesn't look very much like a human. Right, hairless head, wrinkled, partially bleached skin, sores, and unhealthy thinness. Yeah, he's a ghoul. No, nevertheless, it is a man. Moreover, he wears old blue wing overalls with a patch of a committee employee. It reads, Harris Hampton Graveyard Keeper. Just a minute. Okay, then. Now, now that's a hello. All right, the keeper wipes the place where his nose should normally be. With the sleeve of his overalls, grins broadly, shown all five of his teeth, and offers you a hand that looks more like a nipper. We rarely have guests here, he says. By we, I mean the deceased, and I got business here, he asks. We tell him that we've chased the grave robbers off. Yeah, we don't tell him that we've then taken part in grave robbing. I was asking what he's doing here. Um, he's the keeper. Uh, keeping them from coming back. It's a bit like, uh, you know, Delamore to Delamore. Offer to fix the old medcom. There you go. We got a new quest. Keeper slaps his knees in agitation, crouching and staggering. That would be good indeed. That would be hard. But what the? That would be nice, he says. I seem to have um, swallowed a bunch of rats. 
Ask if Leighton Langley has buried her. Ah, he says, we're not. Maybe buried, yeah, yeah, you know, he's... Oh, no. <laughs> I ain't got no scanner. Okay. It was nice, Chatter. All right. Okay, lady. You're gonna... Oh, hey. He's up here now. Okay, I don't think there's going to be anything else of interest. I'm just fixing this medcom and I'll just sort out all of this stuff. So I'll do that off camera and then we'll meet back here again for episode 33. All right, so thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one where we'll do something. All right, bye for now. George with her. Your mother's a bitch.